is Keith Stillman with the National Weather Service, Peachtree City. We'll go ahead and get started with this briefing. It's going to be very focused on uh, what we expect tomorrow morning. Uh, we won't really get into next week at all. Uh, there's a lot more rain coming next week, but we'll, we're going to focus on the uh, winter weather uh, threat for tomorrow morning. So just jumping right into it, uh, we are in the process of issuing a winter weather advisory for a good chunk of northern Georgia. Um, and collaborating with the Greenville Spartanburg office, they're going to include those two counties you kind of see there in the far um, northeast or Habersham and Rabin County. Um, there's some question on the eastward extent of this. It's sort of an unusual situation, not a typical uh, type of snow that we normally get with a wedge and cold air. Um, but uh, the winter weather advisory you can see comes all the way down and it does include a portion of the metro and uh, goes all the way up into the northwest Georgia. Now, what I've done is I've highlighted in yellow on that winter weather advisory where our confidence is a little bit lower, um, it's especially as the rain snow transition. So we're going to see rain mixing with snow, changing to snow at some point, maybe early, maybe later, and then back to rain again by late morning. Um, you can see on the right hand side our snowfall accumulations generally up to an inch everywhere in that whiter color in the far northwest some of the higher elevations could see one to two but the real focus we think is going to be in the far northern part of the state northeast from say if you drew a line from about Gainesville to Canton to LAJ and then up into the higher peaks we're going to see uh, higher amounts but one to two in that other uh, the next color blue and then two to three inches up there in the higher peaks of in the elevation so um, generally speaking this is going to occur in about a six hour window from about um, from about 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, some snow accumulations may lead to difficult travel conditions on especially elevated surfaces and uh, during the higher snowfall rates uh, but that would occur during a very short window during the morning hours, a one to two hour window at most. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more as I show you some of the details. <clears throat> so here's one particular model and I'll let it load for you on your end. You can see um, this is one that we run here locally and it, the, this simulation starts at 8 a.m. It's a little bit slower and it ends at three. And you can see why our confidence is a little bit lower on the southern end and the western end within that advisory. This model keeps most of it confined in the northeastern corridor um, and it does mix more rain with snow now looking at some of the temperature profiles we would probably see rain mixing with snow even where it's showing all rain uh, because it's only above freezing in the lowest thousand to lowest 500 feet and below freezing above that so what will be falling will be falling as snow but then melting as it gets down closer to the ground and so it's a function of if it's falling heavy enough it'll fall through the temperatures above freezing down at the surface uh, on that southern end and western end and um, and so if that happens to cool down you may see snow mixing with rain and then back to rain uh, we've seen this kind of thing before but um, there would be lesser impacts within those regions where we have greatest uncertainty um, but really could be a one to three hour window uh, particularly at the onset and the very beginning of the period i'm going to show you another model um, this one actually starts at 4 a.m. This one we're running again locally and ends at 2. And you can see um, it brings, and you can see some of the blue, blues and whites intermixed, intermingled in with the green. That's just trying to indicate that it's showing snow mixing with rain, um, nothing in between um, as it moves through the morning hours. And, and it's, again, it's really focusing in on that 7 to 10 to maybe 11 a.m. window where we see the greatest uh, snowfall rates potentially. I'll show you another model. Probably the, this is one, uh, we call it the HER model. It, it's just coming in. Uh, this is the most recent run uh, as of this hour. This one starts at 7 a.m., one hour time steps all the way through to about uh, one or 2 p.m. And um, it has the furthest southward extent out of the three I just showed you. And you can see it does include all the way down to about the I-20 corridor with snow in about a one to two hour window. Um, and that's why we've had to include the Metro in on the advisory uh, because there will be a period where it could be snowing um, and it might actually be pretty heavy just for a very short period of time, enough to accumulate for a short period. And then as it starts to move away, the temperatures start to go above freezing and uh, begins to melt. 
So um, it really does look like it's gonna be focused in that morning time frame. Um, but things to note here, the precip develops as it goes east, so it's not gonna be something we see really coming out of Louisiana and Arkansas, Mississippi. It'll start to really pick up once it gets into Alabama, and then it focuses over uh, Northern Georgia, as you can see this model shows here, and then starts to wane a little bit even as it heads east. So for timing, I uh, created this graphic for you. Um, far northwest for the onset in that 5 to 7 a.m. window, uh, 7 to 9 uh, across, uh, say, east of that, over to Blairsville, down to the metro, down to LaGrange. And I only included the areas where we might see rain mixing with snow. Uh, areas south and east of that, we're not expecting uh, nothing, anything more than rain. Uh, but everywhere you see the blue there could be some snow mixing with rain and these are your general time frames um, but that doesn't mean you're going to get anything accumulating with it and then 9 to 11 a.m on the on the in the far east and northeast for at least onset and it could be a tad earlier over there um, we may be a little bit uh, slow on this but it could be closer to 8 to 9 versus 9 to 11 but uh, that's generally what we're thinking and again ending very quickly from the west to the east so um, as far as temperatures go, uh, here, I'm going to go two hour time steps from five to one. And you can see at 5 a.m. we're hovering right around freezing mark. And uh, the concern here is that if we get the snow to fall um, and it falls hard enough that it will actually cool the lowest layer and cool the surface temps down to or slightly below freezing during the time that it's actually snowing. Uh, so we may be a tad warm here. Uh, this is probably another area of least confidence because we're not necessarily accounting for precipitation as it's falling. Um, 7 a.m., you can see the coldest temperatures right around 7, right around freezing at 7 a.m. And this is when, again, we expect the precip to be uh, ongoing at this point or starting across much of the western part of the area. Um, moving to 9 a.m., we start to warm a little bit. This may be overzealous a little bit if we're, again, seeing heavier snow rates, temperatures will stay around that 32, 33 mark um, as it's snowing itself. And then by 11 a.m., we start to get above freezing, even in the far northeast, only the mountains uh, tend to remain around freezing or below. And then by 1 p.m., you can see on the left-hand side, most areas except up in the far northeast would be at or below freezing, just the specks of blue um, and in the uh, lighter blue areas. So. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be a prolonged issue through the day. It just looks like a morning into the early afternoon hours, uh, and then it moves out uh, as about as quickly as it comes in. One possible other area of concern that we're uh, looking at is um, refreeze for Sunday morning. Here's our Sunday morning temperatures, uh, upper 20s to near 30. Uh, any snow or rem remnant uh, water, uh, liquid on the roadways, could potentially refreeze on the roadways uh, Sunday morning. So something we'll have to look at uh, going into tomorrow, into tomorrow night. So in summary, uh, winter weather advisory in effect for Saturday morning. You can see the area that I've highlighted again uh, for some accumulating snow mixed with rain at times and then all snow and back and forth, uh, mostly snow in the far northeast. And there could be some travel impacts particularly in the area where we have, uh, as you get closer to that one inch mark and above, or in the areas where the, the, we have the uh, any, any snow mentioned, it could be some if there's a heavy burst of snow during a very short period, a very short interval. But again, we're not expecting it to be very prolonged in that, in that vicinity. Uh, elevations, higher elevations and elevated surfaces would also experience some issues potentially. Um, again, further north and east, especially through the morning hours, into the uh, early afternoon hours, uh, the further north and east you go. So the mountains certainly certainly could be an issue. And then again, that would linger and refreeze into the into the Sunday morning time frame. So that was the last slide I had. Uh, I'm going to uh, save this and put it post it to YouTube. You'll be able to get it there. It is also available on our briefings website, so you can download it. But um, at this time, I'll go ahead and take any questions.